Good morning and welcome to the Peak District. I'm currently uh, pitched up, got my wild camp up on uh, up towards heading up towards Bleaklow. Um, yeah, I'll show you the video of what happened yesterday. Uh, didn't do a close off last night, hence why uh, this is the intro to the video. So yeah, we'll do a quick rewind uh, of what happened yesterday and uh, then once we get past this point we'll carry on the video uh, as per normal so yeah um it's been a good trip hard work went up to the bomber site yesterday which you'll see and uh, yeah catch you all up soon Finally made it to the Hearn Stones, just off of the Pennine Way, just south of Bleaklow. Currently stood on top of the Hearn Stones, it's a little bit blowy, but other than that it's uh, quite a nice... At the bomber site at Higher Shelf Stones in Derbyshire, amazed to see the amount of wreckage that's strewn around the place.
now at the memorial. In memory, here lies the wreckage of a B-29 Superfortress overexposed of the 16th Photographic Reconnaissance Squadron USAF. Tragically crashed while descending through cloud on the 3rd of November 1948, killing all 13 crew members. The aircraft was on a routine flight from RF Scampton to America AFB Burton Wood. It is doubtful the crew ever saw the ground. The memorial was laid here by the 367 Air Navigation Course of RF Finningley on the 12th of November 1988. Trig point at higher shelf stones. The stones in question have been heavily graffitiized for quite a long time now. Got a great view on the other side. So I was out in my Zunshan one last night, which to be fair, for a tarp tent, lightweight, uh, did a pretty decent job in the wind and the rain, um, although it's not very draft free. But as I found out this morning, it is completely dry on the inside, unlike Pete, who's in, out in his new Terranova Laser One, which kept him nice and warm. Um, but unfortunately, it's also heavily condensated inside, much like my Van Gogh Helium UL2. It's a bit of a mess, but as you can see inside, loads of space, perfectly comfortable. That was last night's pitch. As you can see, leave no trace. Heading back down from Bleaklow um, along the path, uh, the rain, the cloud and the rain have now descended on us. We've managed to get packed away pretty much in the uh, in the gap of, uh, of, of weather. So uh, heading back down towards Snake Pass now um, and then back over towards Edale Cross and then back towards the car. Uh, depending on the weather, um, may do another hike afterwards once we've got back to the car. But, uh, but we'll see. Looking back towards Bleaklow. And that's the Kinder Plateau hidden in that cloud there. Just starting to break through. It was completely clagged in earlier. Back down to the Kinder Reservoir. 
The weather's a bit changeable this morning. We've had low cloud, bright sunshine, big downpour, and now it's just cloudy. Well, that's it for this walk. Walk from Hayfield up onto uh, Bleaklow and find a decent spot to pitch um, on the edge of Bleaklow or near Bleaklow. Visited the um, bomber wreckage area and then this morning took a nice slow amble back and just heading back into Hayfield now. So all in all, not a bad trip. Um, enjoyed it, nice being back out in the peaks. Uh, weather's been very changeable, a uh, mixture of sunshine and rain this morning. Yesterday it was just a bit blowy and grey. Did rain overnight, but nothing new there then. Right, signing off for this one. And, uh, see you all next time.